your boy, Getty Go Glenn, Corey, whatever floats your boat. I got a lot of love on the last reaction that I did. So real quick, I was recommended to do this. Shout out to you right here. I'm putting your name right on the screen because you're awesome. Thank you for recommending me to go down the rabbit hole of Tom McDonald. If you haven't seen my last reaction, just go check it out. It's the last video on my channel. Without, I don't want to take too much time though. I really just want to go back into this. I was told um, to go down the rabbit hole. I hadn't really heard or really heard any songs during the initial reaction I had earlier this week. And they told me, hey, go and check out Dear Rappers. This is like where he started really blowing up and this is rap rap, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. The three things that we like to do when we rate these songs and they're very simple is one, we're looking at flow. Two, we're looking at lyrics. And three, the most important part is the vibe because if it doesn't vibe, it's a waste of our time. So thank you guys again for all the love. I really appreciated it. Guys, I'm gonna say it one more time. Drink Away the Night, my latest song, just hit 100K, the music video on YouTube. If you guys wanna check that out, I'm gonna make that the first link down below. If you guys wanna show some love, if you guys are just here for the reaction, let's just get into it. All right, here we go. This is Dear Rappers, first listen, Tom McDonald. Let's ride. Man, it's easy for these rappers who have it all. Yo, Talk about the can I just say one thing? This man does not waste any time. The other song, that that i listened to he literally went right into spitting right he was singing but like same shit right same shit all right i'm, I'm gonna bring you back man it's easy for these rappers who have it all talk about the days when they used to be sad i guess i can't relate to being famous and wealthy i'm 28 and still praying for the day i have a chance huh? 20 24 24 still trying to still trying to make it so i relate I relate. I understand. Help me out, though. I'm just trying to take care of my household. I don't even want to make my mouth go. I just want to win before the system that I'm in gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold. Dear rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every single CD that you ever fucking <laughs> dropped. I spent everything I had and I never... It is a little Eminem. Is Eminem like one of his... I mean, it's got to be one of his inspirations, right? Because he's kind of rapping. Not too similar, but kind of a little bit. Is Eminem, like, just let me know. Is Eminem one of his, like, it's got to be one of the people he looks up to, right? I have a lot. Oh, my God, what a mess. Your words help me deal with the stress. Used to contemplate my suicide the nights I was depressed. Used to pop you in a boombox and sit up on my desk. Listen to your music till I felt it in my chest. But these days, it's like you don't have nothing left. Your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check. Is he talking? Who's he talking about? Is he talking about Eminem? First of all, he was very raw right there talking about suicide. But, like, side note, like, is he talking about Eminem? I don't know. Everything is digital. I mean no disrespect, but I'm paying even more and you give me even less. What the fuck? You taught me to think. You taught me to grow. You taught me the things to survive on my own. But now you teach me to drink. You teach me to smoke. You teach me to think. Every woman's a hoe. I don't want your... Nah, that can't be about Eminem. Because Eminem doesn't rap about that, right? Right? I don't know. Bars, or your fancy foreign cars Throw your money in my face And try to tell me that it's art No, 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 no No, 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 no. Yeah. Alright, I'll say this straight up You can tell, like Because the, the song I listened to earlier this week Was much, like It just came out, right? His singing voice And I think his confidence with his singing voice Is so much better now This is a good thing, by the way I'm not, like, shitting on him right here But, like like, come on, you listen to his newest thing, like the singing part, right? I know this is just the chorus, but like, it sounded, it sounded, he just sounded way more mature in that stance. Does he sing, does he talk about working on his singing voice at all? Because I know as an artist, like me, like sometimes I'm rapping, sometimes I'm singing. My singing voice has definitely gotten better over the past few years. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm relating, I'm relating to this. Just a drug addict on TV. I can't hear another fucking song about medication that i had to take just to stay alive i definitely fuck with the uh the verses more more important shit than what you wear and where you live and who you fucking what you drink and what you spend and what you drive rappers full of bullshit wow just the marketing vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy rap about a full clip rappers just promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you could die yeah that's facts though that's facts like they're we're we're in the mainstream of things they don't even really write their own music first of all it's written for them and secondly, all the lyrics, like they're brand deals, right? So if Drake mentions a certain champagne or something like that, 
he'll get so much money from that company just to put it in his song. So if you look at it from a business perspective, it's smart because all you have to do is, is get all these different brands and mention them in your song, right? I think it kind of takes the art away. If I'm be if I'm being completely honest, if I'm being if I'm being real, like is it is it kind of do you think it's a sellout to take money from a brand just to put in your song? Are you a sellout? Or are you just are you just trying to pay your bills? That's like there's like a fine line there, right? I don't know. Me personally though, I don't know. I don't know if I'd do that, but I'm saying that not being offered 50k to to, to literally mention, you know, whatever, right? So I don't know. Dear rappers, can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell me, cause drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy. If I'm really being honest, all the shit is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump. You're living in a country where police are killing people every day, and all you wanna talk about is doing drugs. You've been blinded by the money, you've been blinded by the cars, you've been blinded by the women. Don't know who the fuck you are. Thought I knew you when I spent a hundred dollars on a ticket to your show, and now I feel like you stole my fucking money and I'm broke. Man, he taught us how to rap and you taught us how all right, so I, I I I said earlier, is this towards Eminem? I'm not like I don't think I'm wrong there. I think it's like all rappers, right? So that just includes Eminem, even though he doesn't really talk about. I feel like drugs and that kind of stuff too much. So I think it's like the mainstream rappers, like nowadays, it's like flexing a gun, right? Like it's, it's like smoking a joint, you know, do, taking pills, doing drugs, and then little kids are looking at that and they're like, "Yo, that's what I want to do. Like that's what I need to do." Because it's so easy for a kid to be persuaded and think of that all these people with, you know, they're, they're showing, they're, they're showing women, they're showing like all the, all the stuff that they show like, you know what I'm talking about? Like in the, in the classic music video nowadays is, is going to make kids basically want to do the same thing. And I think that's, that's what he's talking about here. He's like, where are the role models at? Right. And maybe through that, he's becoming a role model for other people. So you guys would have to let me know too. All right. How to dress and you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress. Now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood. That's true, bro. What you're teaching these children in these music videos is literally it's like dumbing them down. It's it's keeping them in a box. Cool. Cool. Bars, all your fancy foreign cars Throw your money in my face And try to tell me that it's art no, 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 no. I like this Now I like the chorus a little more Now I like the chorus a little more Because I'm vibing with the, the whole tempo And BPM of the song a little more now no, 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 no. Just a drug addict don't I don't want your Xanax bars Or your fancy foreign cars Throw your Bro, that was such a simple music video. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I want to show you guys something. It reminds me, this music video literally reminds me of the style I shot. So this is a music video called Six Million Counting. It's about the Holocaust. It's, it's, it's very rappy too, but look, it's literally, I put a red light on. I was filming. I was filming it, the, the place I was living in in college, and I just... I am on next... It, it's it's close right it's close i just i was like that's weird right it was like reminding me of my music video but this video is not about me so let's go back all right so we finished that up we're gonna get right into the rating uh flow flow was flow is definitely better than the last one i watched because this one was rappy obviously so he was spitting a little more di like different cadences different styles there were different tempos when he was when he, when he was spitting as well, depending on the line he was trying to match. So, flow definitely improved because it was rappy. It was rapping. Like the other one we listened to again was was very singy. You don't really flow that much in that. You kind of just carry a tune, right? So flow pass lyrics surprised the fuck out of me again. I'm not gonna lie, surprised. I don't know what I'm expecting when I listen to Tom McDonald, but he was. He was he he was talking about stuff that mattered again, and it's true. And even to this day, this is like what six, seven, eight years ago. Like even today, it's still the same thing where they talk about drugs, they talk about women, they talk about doing all these like guns and all that stuff. It's the same thing. And you gotta ask yourself, why is that popular, right? Why does this have? Why does this have seven point two mil? But if we go to like the classic rapper, I'm not gonna even name names. You you guys can just you guys know. Who, 
the people I'm talking about. You go to you go to the classic rappers nowadays, they're gonna have like 30 million plus at least, bro. Like at least 30 million plus. And the video is I mean, this video was wasn't even high production, it was pretty low production, but sometimes they don't need to when the content you're spitting is is the filler for that, right? So you can keep the production around it pretty simple if you're talking a lot, right? And the stuff you're saying isn't just to carry a tune, it's it's to like almost reprogram and filter the mind. Um, I don't know if any of that made sense, but hopefully, hopefully to somebody. Now, all right, vibe check. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is a vibe, 100. percent This is so this song, this is definitely a song I would put on like in the car with. I already know the boys I'd put it on with. You know, certain boys like different kind of music. I have I have a boy that loves this type of music. I would love to blast this in the car. This is the kind of song you could 100 percent ox all the way up and just blast right because it it's kind of a head bump it's a it's a highway bump this is a highway bump dude this is a highway bump so i'm again i'm very surprised thank, thank you guys so much if you guys stuck with me and like decided to watch another reaction another video of mine i really really appreciate you um all my socials again are right on the bottom you guys see them right there so if you guys do like the energy you do like the vibe um you know you guys could feel free to literally follow me and you don't have to bro i'm just i'm just saying this stuff because because I, I, I want to grow as an artist as well. So if you guys want to bump my music or check out my music and see, you know, what my ear likes, what, what kind of music I'm making. I'm working on an album right now, too. It's, it's, I'm telling you guys, it's going to be crazy. So thank you guys for joining me on this journey. I hope to see you guys more. Please recommend me more artists, too, that I should be reacting to. What, what are some artists that you'd like to see or songs that you'd like to see maybe my input? That's really all I have. I love you guys. And... I hope you guys stay safe, enjoy the holidays, and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace, peace.